Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. You know, I was, uh, I was reading through Acts, and uh, one thing that really has struck me this time as I've been reading through Acts is just how bold the leaders of God were in that time. Um, honestly, I, I was reading this and I, I almost started to get jealous. I was like, why can't I be this bold? Like, why can't I have this courage in the face of all danger to still not be ashamed to praise the name of God, to, 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 to do the things that he's called me to do? I think all of us sometimes can struggle with that feeling that we're not maybe quite bold enough. And uh, I mean, me naturally, I'm not very bold, right? Just the other week, um, my wife and I were at the Home Depot because that's the only place you can go these days. Um, and we were just trying to pick out some paint to paint above our fireplace. And my wife comes to me, she's like, so do you want ombre blue or midnight blue? And I was like, I, I don't, I can't choose. This is too hard of a choice. Like, can I, I, I need to do some research. I need to go through some model homes. You know what, give me a week. I'll think this through. And uh, then I can decide whether I want these two shades of blue. I could, I was frozen. She was like, all right, we'll just go with the ombre blue. I'm like, sweet, let's do that. Um, Sometimes we just struggle to be bold. We just struggle to make that choice to, to go for it. Um, where does that boldness come from? I think sometimes when we look at a bold person, we think, oh, that person's just prideful. That person just has a big ego. I think a lot of times we've even to- told ourselves, no, I shouldn't be bold because if I'm bold, that's me trying to say that I'm believing in myself. Other people are gonna look at me and think that I'm prideful. But in Acts chapter four, they prayed this awesome prayer. And they prayed to God and they said, God, we've seen all the things that you've done for our people. We've seen what you led Moses through, what you led Abraham through, what you led Noah through. Look at our situation right now, God, and give us the boldness to proclaim your name despite everything that's going on. And immediately, right after they prayed this, the room began to shake. God answered their prayer immediately. What did he do? He filled them all with the Holy Spirit. God's response to their prayer for boldness was not to make them feel stronger. It was to fill them with the Holy Spirit. Do you know that every single one of us here who is a believer is filled with the Holy Spirit? And in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says that he has given us a spirit not of fear, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of sound mind. I think a lot of us, when we read that, we think, oh, that's me being powerful. That's me. God, you're making me this. No, 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 no. It's capital S spirit. God has filled you with a spirit of power, with a spirit of love, with a spirit of sound mind. It's not your spirit. It's the spirit that he has filled you with, the Holy Spirit. And so we have the ability to be powerful, to, to, to be loving, to have a sound mind, not by our own strength, but by his strength. So what about humility? What about all these things that I've heard during my life about how I'm supposed to be humble, about how I'm supposed to put myself down, how I should just not put my beliefs on other people. Instead, I should just kind of keep to myself. Well, if you look at that word humility, something really powerful that you can hold on to. The word humility doesn't mean to put yourself down. It doesn't mean to view yourself as lower than other people. The actual meaning of the word humility is to have God's view of yourself. Hold on to that, to have God's view of yourself. You know, I don't think there's a single one of us here that could say that we have as high a view of ourselves as God has for you. God views you so much higher than you view yourself. So if we want to be humble, get this, if we want to live in humility, we actually need to be a whole lot more bold because God has filled you with power. God has filled you with love. God has filled you with a sound mind so that when we want to be humble, if we want to view ourselves the right way, we need to be bold. We don't need to be silent Christians, right? Let's not live a silent life. Let's not live a life that says, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Let's not just live a life that says, I'm gonna allow things to come on me and I'm not gonna do anything about it. No, God has filled you with power. He's filled you with a spirit that allows you to be bold. So let us be bold together, amen. Well, thanks so much for tuning in today and don't forget about our daily Bible study. You can just go to YouTube and type in daily Bible study and find us doing morning scripture, we pray every day. But right now we want to say a prayer with you. Uh, If there's anyone that's watching this that's never received Jesus and you're not sure what eternity looks like for you if you were to face eternity, you can have that secured right now because the good news is God gave his one and only son as a free gift for your salvation. You just put your faith in him. So repeat this prayer after me. Dear Father God, 
I ask you to forgive me of my sin. And Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you're the Son of God who died for sin and rose from the dead. Be my Lord and baptize me in your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you said that prayer, find a church, find something close, and get in church, be there every single week. We need to be under a new message and we need to be around some new people. God bless you.